Over 100 countries across the world are gathered here to showcase their business offerings and to make meaningful connections. South Africa says it is ready to do business and believes that the easing of the lockdown restrictions will go a long way to boost the local tourism sector. One of the biggest challenges that tourists face is being compelled to undertake a 24-hour COVID-19 test. Now, Minister Sisulu says plans are in the pipelines to help reduce the timeline for COVID-19 testing to make South Africa a desired tourist destination. We are in consultation with uh, uh, CSIR, uh, which is our innovation center under the Department of Education. We are in consultation with the Department of uh, Health to see if it is possible for us to find a way of um, checking what the CPR produces, what we detect in the CPR test without having to go through the onerous, um, you know, testing for CPR, waiting for 24 hours. And uh, when we went to Spain, we are um, part of the executive of the United, Nation, United Nations World tourism organization so we held an international conference in Spain and uh, we got there and um, they had the most amazing way of detecting whether or not you had uh, COVID or not they didn't uh, require a CPR test we went through a scanner and by the time you emerged on the other side they were able to tell whether or not you had you were uh, uh, what uh, you had COVID or not Businesses in the tourism sector say they've had to readjust after suffering massive losses due to COVID-19. And their biggest concern now is whether or not the borders are going to remain open for business. What I think was going to be very important for us moving forward is making sure that the government stay consistent in their communication. Because we're ready to do business. We've seen already the Q1 2022, the recovery in some of our locations are at 2019 levels. That means business is there, pinned up demand is there, people want to travel. The only fear factor is are the borders going to close again, are there going to be quarantine measures? It's not COVID that's scaring people, it's if the borders are going to remain open. I think what we're hoping to achieve uh, is to kickstart or, or rather to continue what has already started which is the recovery following the, the the biggest impact of the pandemic uh, and it's wonderful for us to be able to take part in Meetings Africa the first time in two years that it's been held and to see the tremendous interest from so many potential clients uh, in, in the business coming back. The tourism sector says is looking forward to measures to relax the visa requirements to attract more tourists into South Africa and to explore the introduction of an electronic visa. The tourism sector is also looking at ways to improve safety and security, which is another concern for tourists visiting South Africa. Now, Lady Matlapeng, SABC News, Johannesburg.